Here's a Wildcats, another Wildcat all in with Weber State senior Jaden Matthews on the Wildcat basketball team. And Jaden, thanks for joining me today. Yeah, thanks for you having me. You have a record that may never be broken. <laughs> You've played the most games ever at Weber State. Nearly 140 games That's in a lot five of games. years. Can you believe you've been here for five years? That's a lot of games. Five it years. It's been games. it's been a great ride, but that's a lot of games. Yeah. <laughs> if I had told you five years ago that you'd still be here playing, what would you have thought? Man, I didn't know what to think. You come in as a freshman, and you you don't really know what to expect. And so, if someone told me freshman Jaden, you would be the all-time career um, games held at Weber, I would yeah. wouldn't know what to say. But it's been great. How much have you grown? on the floor and also individually, as you look back on those five years? Yeah, my game's evolved tremendously, um, mostly because I came in as kind of a guard and had to take on more of a forward role. So uh, it's evolved in that way, and I've got to learn new things, new skills, new aspects of my game. So that's been fun. And off the court, it's been tremendous. I mean, I was 18 years old uh, when I came in, and I'll be leaving here at 23. So just that age gap right there, you already know <laughs> a lot. A lot's went down. So It's a big portion of your life, isn't it? Is, it? it is. Yeah, it really is. You, you definitely are going down as one of the, the best that, we, that Weber State has ever had. Uh, you're in the top, top 10 in multiple categories. What do you like most about playing basketball? Man, I love the team atmosphere. I've, I've never had friendships that were so strong. We see each other all the time, probably a little bit too much, honestly. But uh, being able to see the girls and develop bonds with them is something I love and something I'm definitely going to miss when my time is done here. So. Well, and you said you grew up even as a five-year-old started playing. So you've been playing a long time. Yes, very long time. Traveling and double dribbling all over the court, but <laughs> we've, we've, we've grew up a little bit. Did you always have that goal to play college basketball? Honestly, I, I didn't. I uh, was in high school, and it kind of didn't click for me until maybe my junior year, and people were like, you're kind of good. My brother, he went to college, uh, and then seeing that process of how he did that, I was like, okay, well, this is something I can realistically look into and realistically do. And then senior year came around, I played my first competitive year of AAU, and then Coach V found me. Yeah. Well, <laughs> what did you know about Weber State at the time? At the time, not a lot. Um, my brother went to Colorado State, and so we drew, drove through Utah on the way here, and we stopped, we saw the temples. Um, same thing, Damian Lillard, so yeah. just the little things here and there. How many other recruiting offers did you have? Not a lot, honestly, out of high school. I was pretty under-recruited. Um, a lot of people that were looking at me were D2s in California. So very thankful, very blessed for this opportunity that Coach V was able to find me and uh, bring me out, came on a visit, and now I'm here. So and now you're here. As you look back on those five years, and like I said, I know it's, it's not finished yet, but are there a couple of memories or, or memorable games that stand out to you? Uh, probably there was a year we beat Sac State three three times and people were saying it was really really hard and then we got to the tournament and it ended up being our first tournament win so it was really cool to do that because people are definitely underestimating us but we, we went out there and did it. it was a really cool experience for sure you've also excelled on the in the classroom and you're going to leave with with a couple of degrees yeah tell I, us about that yeah so I graduated with my undergrad in professional sales in 2022 and then that allowed me to start my master's degree and finish my master's degree in April so a couple months from now I'll be leaving here with a master's in communications so the big question always comes okay what what next right after what school next, what man. do you think you want to do <laughs> I, I love this question but yeah, you um, get it all the time man and and it's hard to say, I think basketball, becoming an athlete, takes up so much of your identity and your time. And so I'll be really excited to explore that part of me after this. I want to look into, obviously, what I got my degree in, which would be medical tech sales or pharmaceutical sales and see if that's something that suits me, because I do love talking to people uh, and being around people. And it also keeps the competitive aspect. I'm going to miss that a lot from basketball. So maybe being able to outsell someone will keep me <laughs> excited. So go. Yeah, for sure. Um, what are some other things when you're not, as a, as a player now, when you're not playing, not practicing, what do you like to do? What I like to do, I love self-care. I love skin care. I love going to get my nails done, my feet done. I like to journal. Anything that benefits my peace of mind is something that I will always be into. So. There you go. Mm -hmm. Excellent. You as, a, not just you, but the, the team has been involved in a lot of civic events and community events and service and type things too. Uh, have you learned and gained some things from, from doing those kinds of things? Oh, yeah. Uh, we always joke about it. We had to, as freshmen, we were always, <laughs> we had to go in and do that all the time. But I loved when we would go uh, read to the little kids. We'd go to different elementary schools and it was, was to promote our games. But the things we learned while we were there are so, it, it was amazing just to see those kids. They look up to us in ways we literally had no idea until we went and did that. So that's always been awesome. Yeah. 
You mentioned that you, your bond with teammates has been important, and, and you and Darren Hickok have been here together for five Best years. Friend. And <laughs> together a lot, right? Not yeah. just here for five years, mm -hmm. but together. Mm -hmm. What has that relationship and, and friendship meant to you? Man, me and Mike always joke. We say we probably wouldn't have liked each other in high school, but we both learned so much from each other in our five years here. And we've lived together for since we were freshmen all the way until now. And so we kind of have to like each other a little bit. But no, it's been great. Uh, she's taught me so much. She's been the best supportive on and off the court. So. She says you're a good cook, too. Is that true? <laughs> I love to cook. Uh, definitely something I've had to learn in college. I started freshman year because the dorms that we stay in, thankfully, have the kitchen stuff where we're able to do that. Um, so, yeah, that's something favorite, I like So to what do. are your favorite things to cook? Favorite things to cook. I don't know about favorite, but yesterday I made some really good fajita steak tacos that were, they were good. <laughs> Sounds good. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure it was. Is there a dream vacation somewhere you'd love to go? I would love to go to like Bora Bora. I want to stay in those little water bungalows. I think would be really fun. So, so not not something with the snow. You're more no of a no. Beach we want the beachy that. sun water. <laughs> no, yes, all that, 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 all that good stuff. <laughs> Well, Jaden, uh, again, you you will go down as one of the best to ever play here, and it's been a memorable five years. And thank you so much for all you've done for Weber State, and best of luck to you. Yep, thank you. Go Cats.